some work on that car. Now Taylor Ferns qualified fifth quick in her Venturini Motorsports Toyota earlier. Rookie contender loses it on the cool down lap, backs it into the first turn wall. They've straightened out the sheet metal on that car and she should be ready to take the green here. Uh, green now, Rick. Safety car is in. Kojski on the outside. Mitchell on the inside. We're underway in Springfield, Illinois. I look for a lot of pressure from Kelly. This being his hometown, I mean, he's going to want this lead here. Kovsky on the outside came close to winning here a year ago. Ran with us last week up at Berlin. If you saw that event here on the NBC Sports Network, down the backstretch for the first time. Mason Mitchell in the Empire Motorsports 82, the Happy Cheeks machine to the lead. And Brennan Poole moves to second now in the Venturini 15 car. You know, the, Kelly fell back. He tried to fight it there. I mean, I think that was just a lot of want to lead this race and put himself in a bad position coming off of two. As the field heads into turn one, will we see two grooves here, or is this a place where you've got to be at the bottom most of the day? I, I think we're just going to see one groove. Uh, a second group might develop enough where you can might be able to hang on, but I don't think you'll be able to make passes there. Down the back straightaway, fourth spot is in play there as we watch the 11 car. That's A.J. Fike. Now, Fike doesn't run many of these ARCA shows, but he is a dirt ace. In fact, he won here yesterday in the USAC Silver Crown event. He is up to fourth. Their leader is Mitchell in the 82. Second spot to Brendan Poole. Third is Koki. Fourth is Fike. Fifth is Will Kibble in the 69. Now, he's on the move in uh, brother Bill Kibble's machine. Frank Kibble's brother's race team doing a nice job. We're starting to see a few cars hanging out just a little bit here on the dirt mile. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a little bit too early for that, Rick. You want to keep it smooth. You want to keep it straight. Take care of that right rear tire so you've got one on lap 100 if you don't change tires in the middle of this race. And you've got six more tires you can use, but you were saying that some teams may elect to go all the way on the original set. Yeah, there might be a few drivers right now that's babying those tires, counting on not taking tires to get the track position during the pit stop for fuel and try to leapfrog a few guys and then pour it on at the end. So you might see a couple guys right now now, just tiptoeing those tires, thinking they're not going to take them today. Watching series point leader Frank Kimmel, the nine-time ARCA Series champion. He's running in 10th spot right now after that motor problem during practice this morning. But they had the underhood engine fire. They had to pull all the wiring out of the car and change it, clean the carburetor, do a lot of other things. A fuel line came off and produced all of that as we watch the 82 of Mason Mitchell stretch it out now. He's got about a dozen car lengths over Brendan Poole out of the Woodlands in Texas. The Happy Cheeks score, John Forrest machine, the Empire Motorsports entry has done a great job qualifying on the pole. Now last week in Berlin, sat that car on the pole, led the first 35 laps or so. Still had a good finish, but they were unable to maintain Vegas second in the championship, 205 points behind Frank Kimmel coming in here. That will not help his bid to try to get closer to Kimmel over the final six races of this season. Speaking of the champ, Kimmel took tires and restarted in 12th. He's up to ninth now, but we're going to be nine laps to go this time by Kimmel quick, but doesn't look like he's quick enough. Brendan Poole pulling away now by the front side of the racetrack as we watch Kimmel try to close in on Justin Boston. Well, uh, yeah, Frank, uh, he's going to run out of time here. I mean, I did not think a lot of the strategy of Brennan, but uh, they certainly sh proved that it's going to be the right theory right here if he can hang on. Your leader is Poole on the backstretch. The blue Allegiant Airlines 23 of Spencer Gallagher in second position. Third belongs to A.J. Fike in the RFMS 11 car. And fourth position is Kelly Kovsky in the 16. That's the Mike Allgaier entry. Fifth belongs to Tom Hester the third in the 77, the Cunningham Dodge, the Barbaros Auto entry. Ryan Unziker runs in sixth position. Chris Windham, Justin Boston, Frank Kimmel, Jim Cochran, your top ten. Running order, top of your screen with eight remaining here in the Allen Crow Memorial 100. You've got to be impressed with what Brennan Poole has put together here today. Back to the front a couple of different times. That's a strong race car in the hands of a very capable young driver. Absolutely. He's doing a great job keeping that car on the bottom. And it just looks like he's able to keep that car just, just a few inches lower than everybody else. And it's making all the difference in the world. And Spencer Gallagher's not done yet, but I don't know. We haven't seen that push yet that been able to get all the way and, and, and close the gap here and make a run at him. So, uh, Brandon, I think he's just got to keep this thing on the bottom and not make any mistakes. Leaders come onto the back stretch one more time, working lap number 94. Lap traffic goes three cars. Pool, there's the torque 15 car. He is out in front, down into turn three. Behind him, uh, about six tenths of a second back to Gallagher, who had a little trouble turning that car in that time. Late in the race here with lap traffic now back to the pool. He's got a half room on the front straightaway to drop to the bottom.
But that will not put him in good shape to enter turn one. Now he does get to the outside. Yeah, that, he actually caught a break there. If they'd have caught those cars a little bit, I think Brennan was smart enough to check up in the middle of the corner so he wouldn't catch him right there at the turn four apex. Your driver, A.J. Fike, though, doesn't have that luck. He has to hit the brakes going into one. Side by side for Whoa. the lead. Spencer Gallagher leaning on pool as they head to three. When did Gallagher get a great run out wow, of turn two? he drove it in there, too, and slid him up the racetrack. He's Whoa. hurrying back to the bottom rail. Spencer, wow, go Spencer, looking for his first win in ARCA. From Las Vegas, Nevada, Spencer Gallagher gets a great run down the back stretch and takes the lead away from the 15 car. Here we are thinking Brennan Poole's got this thing in hand. It shows you how quickly things can change oh on the dirt. Oh my gosh, they hired us to be experts and these guys are making us look like <laughs> monkeys with as good as they're driving out here. I can't believe that. I did not think Spencer had a shot at this just five laps ago. From 12th to 1st for Spencer Gallagher, one of the young guns in the ARCA Racing Series presented by Menards. Five laps to go at the Illinois State Fairgrounds. Five to go. So now you're a young driver, Rick. You're sitting there. You're coming down. You're seeing that, that flagman bend over and hold up the four fingers right <laughs> now and you're like oh my gosh what do i do hope this thing stays green is that a noise i hear what's coming out of the rear do i sell smell smoke of course brennan Poole refusing to give up in the venturini 15 car closing back in as they come down into turn number three there'll be three to go this time by clear racetrack for the time Whoa, being spencer the slid up he oh, split up. up on the marbles that opens the oh, door for Poole. spencer gallagher over drove it in three and four and brennan Poole jumps back into the lead oh my gosh a big lead just like that now oh and he gets a lucky break uh -oh. caution's out caution waves with three to go we go green white checkered as many times as you need to here. Oh, man, could be time for a little full contact karate. <laughs> How about fuel? Is fuel going to be an issue for these cars? I don't think it'll be too big of an issue because most of the guys that did, they stopped on 30. A lot of them stopped again on 50. So I think we're good on fuel. All right, let's take a look at what happened. Remember, Poole had given up the lead just a lap and a half earlier. In three, it looks like Gallagher just went in too hard. Well, as I mentioned, you know, you're that rookie driver trying to win your first race, and you start hearing things, seeing things, and you don't want to give it up as far is not trying hard enough and sometimes you try too hard so everyone will line up now behind the safety car the ford mustang facing the field here this weekend brennan Poole will be the restart leader we've completed lap number 97 98 on the board this time and there are those lead cars dropping down low where there's a little more moisture on the dirt surface cool those left side tires just a little bit get a little bit more grip there it'll be kovsky uh, shown well the scoring monitor uh, because Poole had dropped to the bottom. I think Kovsky yeah, he just uh, jumped went through up there. the lights uh, yeah. you know, uh, in the wrong place. We'll put Poole at the top of the restart order. Gallagher second, Fike third, and then Hesser, Kovsky, Frank Kimmel takes advantage and jumps up to sixth for the restart here. So uh, with 98 laps on the board, looks like we'll have a green-white checker finish to settle things here at the Illinois State Fairgrounds. More to come on the NBC Sports Network. It could be an issue, perhaps, for some of these cars. We don't think so, but we'll see. Your leader is the 15 pool. Second spot is Gallagher. Don't forget the champion, Kimmel, with fresh tires, four of them. Working back there at six, but he's Kelly's got a lot of lining there. up that outside. Kelly wow. gets he the drop on him. Oh, I don't know if that I, will stand or not. I don't know. That was pretty early, and when Brennan caught it, he lifted. I'm not sure. They're going to have to look at the replay on that one. It was awful close. Not saying he jumped, but it was right there. Oh, he jumped. There's no doubt about <laughs> You're it. He was third. Call a jump. He was third coming off turn four, and he was first before the flag stand. He, he, well, when, when the green's in the air, you're allowed to pass to the right, Rick. So if he timed that perfect, uh, that's how Patrick Shelter won this race three years ago. We'll see what happens. There is Poole in the 15. Kelly Kovsky taking Mike Allgaier 16 on the outside, jumping around the top two cars. We'll see if the white flag. Oh, the no, black they flag, flag being him. shown. They to Kelly Kovsky. Him. The, the white flag, flag to Kovsky. The white flag for Brennan Poole. Kelly gets the black. And we've got fight now is on the bumper of pool. In turn two for the win. Your race leader is not the 16. He's been disqualified. Shown the black flag for jumping the restart. Your leader is Poole in the white 15. Fike right there in the black 11. That's the battle for the victory as they come off turn number four. They've seen the white flag. Oh, Here's oh, Mike AJ's going to get out of there. AJ He's Fike not left up. Up. Oh, no, AJ. AJ Fike comes AJ. back to the AJ oh, Fike for Ryan Hindenburg is going to win. Way to go, AJ. First driver since Al Unser to sweep <laughs> the weekend. AJ Fike driving my broadcast partner's entry. 
grabs the victory in the Allen Crow Memorial 100. Kelly Kovsky shown the black flag. He does not get the win. It will be A.J. Fight the winner in car number 11. The 12th different winner in the ah, ARCA ah, season. Ah. Holy cow, the Dirty Dozen. That's, that's appropriate for today here on the dirt. There you go. Let's take another look at that restart for the green-white checkered finish. Remember that Brennan Poole was the restart leader. Fike was second. See, Gallagher Kelly's was there as well. Kelly's positioning himself right now to make that jump. Now the key is, is when does the green come out? When the green comes out, you're clear to pass on the right. He goes. Brennan hasn't even accelerated yet. So the green couldn't have been in the air. So Kelly Kovsky black flagged, and here's the run to the checkered flag. Pulls the leader in the last lap. There's contact in three and four. Fike uses the fender of that 11 car to move the 15 up the racetrack. And A.J. Fike will go to victory lane today here on the Allen Crow Memorial 100. Wow, what wow, a finish. Oh, no kidding. That is amazing. We started there. off talking about how this is old school racing. We were expecting a dramatic day and a lot of fun, and we certainly got more than our money's worth here this afternoon. Oh, I love Arca. That was incredible. Great Brennan job, Poole, AJ. Tom Hesser, Great job. Here comes I mean, Fike, Brennan, yeah. I mean, the, the whole field. I mean, these guys are good race car drivers, and they showed it here today. AJ Fike, one of the best on the dirt track in the country. Well, now they're showing Brennan carrying the flag. And Brennan Poole carrying the checkered flag. What is going on here? We'll send Kevin Lee over to try to find out. Looked like A.J. Fike made a legitimate pass up in three and four. Little contact normally allowed here. Well, maybe A.J. was in on that restart thing with Kelly there. So, uh, boy, what do we got going on here, Rick? Brennan is uh, carrying the checker. They got him. They got him on the leaderboard as first place. Wow. That is a turn of events we were not anticipating here because it certainly looked to us as though A.J. Fike in the 11 car did everything right. The 15 slipped. Fike turned in underneath him in three. Leaned on the 15 a little bit, but uh, drove past and, and went to the went to the stripe first. You so know what we got here? What did we have? Pandemonium. I was going to say controversy is what we have. Here's another look at it in turn three. At this point, Kofsky's jumped the restart. The 15 is the leader. That's good, Rick. Yeah, I, I don't there's think nothing this, wrong there. There's nothing on this problem. I don't see anything This there. is not a, the issue. It had to be something on the restart. So we, we're going to have to get the ARCA officials here uh, to, to figure out what's going on. Fans in the stands and a great crowd here today at the Illinois State Fair ground standing to try to find out what in the heck has gone on we'll talk to the players in this one before we're done here today in Springfield Illinois but they have flagged Brennan Poole in the 15 car as your winner for Venturini Motorsports and he is getting the celebratory hugs in victory lane that's the uh, Kyle Busch move, and here's A.J. Fike getting out of the RFMS 11. We can see him with one of our other camera shots as we watch the celebration in victory lane for Brandon Poole, who led a lot of laps today, certainly had a car uh, very capable of going to victory lane, but the late race uh, skirmish. Kelly on the outside going by Gallagher there in the Allegiant Air All car. right, so now, okay, A.J.'s going behind Spencer. He's going to the outside of Spencer Gallagher, put him out of position. And see, at that point, I'm wondering, and, and I'm not criticizing anybody's call here on this, but I'm wondering if you're A.J. Fike, do you think that the leader had a problem coming up through the gearbox, maybe? Well, no, I think Brennan did a good job doing what he needed to do to control that restart. And, I mean, it got away from him as far as the control, but then the rules kicked in and controlled it for yeah. him. So he did that about as perfect as you could have. Victory Lane interview on the public address here at Springfield for uh, the 15 and Brennan Poole, our race winner here today. Yeah, A.J. Fike did not pass the 15 before he came to the stripe. You can see him a couple of car lengths behind Poole at that point going down into the corner, but he had got around the 23 before the green flag was in the air. Apparently the ruling by ARCA officials. We'll take one more look at it. There you see the 11 on yeah, the high he's, side. He's the, passed yeah, the 23 yeah. of Spencer Gallagher before the green came out in, in ARCA's ruling. Right there you see the green flag, and, and he's two or three car lengths ahead and really took care of took Spencer's day out of it and allowed Tommy to to uh, Hesser to to get the position on him as well so a wild finish here at the Illinois State Fair the Allen Crow Memorial 100 looked like AJ Fike was going to do a little bit of a rewrite of the history books here by winning both ends of the weekend doubleheader instead it's Brennan Poole there's more to come our coverage today of the ARCA Racing Series on the NBC Sports Network has been brought to you by